Today we're going to take this 2x6 to make this wall shelf. Hey guys, I'm Corey. This is Make Shape Great. And today we're making a wall shelf. So we're going to need a place to uh, put glues and finishes and miscellaneous stuff. You know, pencils, drill bits, whatever we want to put up there. Uh, we used to put that stuff on top of the roll top desk, but Jess has kind of acquired that for her craft stuff. So today we're gonna make a shelf. We're gonna do some uh, gluing, some sawing, some routering. But like always, we're gonna start with the drawing. So this is just a really, really basic idea of what we wanna do. Uh, nothing real fancy. I'm not sure if we're gonna do these supports right here or not yet. We may, we may not, kinda see how it goes. But uh, first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how long we want this top board cut that down to size. We got our shelves cut down. These two leftover pieces, we're gonna use as a support. So we're gonna need to roughly draw out how we want it to go, take it over to the bandsaw, cut it out correctly. cut out they are just a hair off from each other but I think for what we're doing and the fact that they're gonna be hanging on the wall like 16 inches apart from each other I don't think you're ever gonna notice so we're gonna leave it like that now we need to take our shelves that we already cut down we need to square off the one side so we can glue them up are cut down to length. We've got the two pieces short up on the end. We're just gonna take the dowling jig, drill the holes in the one side, drill the corresponding holes in the other side, dowel it up, glue it up, and let that sit. Just a real quick aside, if you put a little piece of tape on your drill bit, when you go to drill in, once this starts hitting, you know you've gone to the length you want it to. So, you can also get a stop collar, but if you're doing it on the actual blade itself, those don't work real well. So, do this instead. All right, this is all glued up. Well, it's not together. It's not exactly finished yet. Still gotta dry. I filled in, I don't know if it's me or if it's the jig I'm using or what, but for whatever reason, these holes did not go flush. So, ain't a number of things could have gone wrong. Not a big deal. Glued it up, it's clamped. Put some sawdust and glue in the center to kind of hide the seam a little bit. I think once you get it up on the wall, sand it down, you'll never know. Not a big deal. So while this dries, 
we're gonna go ahead and work on our supports. Got these cut up. Um, I'm thinking about taking them to the router, and same thing with these. But basically, this is how this is gonna go. These are gonna go like this. This part will actually mount into the wall, and then this part will get screwed to this, or through this to that, or however we're gonna do it. I'll probably screw it through this to that, um, just because I think that'll be stronger. And then this will be screwed to this, screwed and glued to this. So we're gonna do some routering to try to round over these edges and then glue these up. So I'm glad I checked this first, but now that we're adding the backer board onto these, these are actually gonna be too long. So I need to actually cut these a little shorter. Glad I figured that out now and not after I rounded over all these with the router. Again, not 100% even, but I think that little bit spread across uh, 16 inches, you're not gonna notice it. So, time to round over those edges. We got this whole thing routed. Um, some of them aren't perfect, but I don't really need them routed. I was just looking for an excuse to try the tool out. Um, it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. And I thought it was gonna be hard. Just gotta connect this to this. By now the top should be glued up, connected to that. Start some sanding. So I'm gonna do a couple uh, starter holes on this side. Um, and then once I get it all the way through, then I'll come back and uh, countersink it from the other side. All right, just have to let the glue dry on these. These are done. They are screwed, so in all reality, we keep on going. Um, now we need to attach this to the top. So I was gonna finish these, but it's a shop shelf. Like, this isn't decorative. I'm not real worried about it. The only reason I did this was because I wanted to have practice on the router. So I think we're just gonna glue this up, screw it together, put it in the wall.
too happy with how this turned out. Again, if you wanted to sand it down and finish it, you could very easily make this a really nice wall decoration for your living room, anywhere in the house. This is just going in our shop, so I wasn't real worried about it. Um, if you guys would like to see more videos like this, you can check out one of the multiple playlists we have available for you. Um, you can check us out on social media, at Make Shape Create. If you feel like you want to support us and help us make more videos like this, you can find us at patreon.com backslash make shape create. And we'll be back next week with a brand new video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a week.